Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. We've got a neat video for you. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. What we're going to be doing in this video is teaching you how to make a quick and easy centerpiece using peonies. Now, I, my students know that I love just about every botanical out there because each botanical brings something unique to the design table. But I have to admit, I absolutely really, really love peonies. I think they are an amazing botanical. And in today's video, we're going to be featuring peonies from a, a, a wonderful farm called Alaska Perfect Peony. They're out of Alaska. These peonies are Native American. Let me show you them because I think they are just so cool. These peonies come in a wide variety of colors and mm, they have an amazing scent to them. They're absolutely amazing. They're absolutely gorgeous. They've got white peonies. The folks at Alaska Perfect Peony have some amazing peonies in pinks and blushes. They're absolutely gorgeous. They have some salmon ones. They also have some that I think are really, really neat that are cranberry, which I think are really cool as well. Uh, so they do have uh, quite a, a grouping of varieties. This season, they've been featuring some peonies, not only in the large size, but some of the smaller sized ones, which in my opinion are just as good. You can use them and mix them and they work so, so well. So we thought that you would enjoy seeing these. I love these because they are a wonderful flower. They are grown here in America. They are American grown flower, native uh, flower. And so uh, I think it's just wonderful to be able to use these in our designing. And I think that you should play with them too. If you haven't played with peonies, you're missing out. It is just a wonderful botanical. And they're very easy to use. We're going to start off with our cranberry peonies. And I'm going to take them, place them into my container. And you notice that I have a classical kind of container because we're going to do something that on first inspection feels almost like a classical kind of styling. And what I'm doing is I'm taking my peonies and I'm working them from the front over towards the back of the container. And I'm almost making almost like a diagonal working at a curve going from front to back in terms of my base. Next, let's take some of the pink peonies that we have. And we're going to make use of those as well. I think you're going to find, my viewer, that when you start playing with peonies, it's really, really easy. You can come up with some really cool things. It is not excessively hard to do. The flowers themselves are so magnificent that they really make your life very, very easy as a designer. And notice that what I'm doing is I'm just taking them, I'm working them in. We're doing a classical round shape on this design. And notice that I don't even need to use any foliage because essentially my flowers themselves are covering the mechanics. Whenever we take a flower and we cover the mechanics with the flower, we give it a fancy name. We call it basing, basing technique. And so what I'm using is I'm taking my flowers working them around. And I'm going to put a few around the back side as well because I want to make sure that everything is covered on it. And you can see, my viewer, it's big, it's impressive, it's showy, it gives an amazing effect. This design could be used very, very effectively as a table centerpiece. It would work in an entry hall, it would work on a coffee table, it could be used uh, if you wanted to on a mantle. Uh, it is just an amazing design. Very, very quick, very, very easy. These flowers make it so. It is wonderful. Now, this is very, very classical. I can't help it, my viewer. Whenever we show one of these things, I like to show how you can take them and diddle with them and change them and so forth. And I'm going to do that here, too. Now, you may prefer the classical approach on this. I do. I think it looks really great. But if we wanted to change it and make it a little kinky, there are ways we could do it. Here's an Aurelia. We could go kind of wild by just saying, hey, here it is, Bwee! like that. Or 
we could do something where we take our Aurelia and we shorten it a little bit. We could take it like this, shorten it, and then have something going on one side, like so, and another Aurelia, cut it down and work it on another side, like so. Now it becomes more of a one-sided piece and it has a rather wild look to it. I could see something like this working well on some mantles. Uh, again, you may like it, you may not like it, not for every taste, but I think it shows that we can take these things and play with them a little bit and come up with different effects. And then, of course, you never can go wrong with branchy stuff. For example, we could take kiwi vine and place kiwi vine into this. Now, I'm just placing it here. If I were actually going to do this, for use, I would add picks to it, tie picks to it, pick it into my foam so that we could have that as well. Now you've got uh, a kind of a, an interesting take on a classical theme where we're using branchy stuff worked in to create a little bit of texture and a little bit of interest. Once again, I wouldn't just place it, I would actually tie it down with picks and so forth. But I think you can see, my viewer, how you could achieve that kind of an effect. So you can see, my viewer, we love these peonies, and I think that the folks at Alaska Perfect Peony are coming up with some amazing products. If you haven't tried them, you should. Uh, quick, easy, and fun. That's the Rittner Floral School way, and I hope you enjoyed this brief presentation in terms of how to do a quick and easy centerpiece making use of peonies on behalf of all of us here at Rittner's Floral School. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner. We thank you for coming in and visiting with us today.